Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to fix that type of error. Uh, if you are using uh, Fluent API and you just want to set a delete behavior dot restrict or set to null like that uh, dot set null. Uh, there is a lots of option uh, in enumeration that is delete behavior is enumeration and there is there are the lots of options and if you got that type of error uh, using package manager that's uh, add migration that is the first migration and migration is successful but if you want to add updated database commands like that uh, update database command then you got that type of error actually uh, and the what is the error you can say and wait for some times and you will see that that type of error cannot insert the value null into the column department id and the table fluent api tutes.tvo user info column does not allow nulls update fails the statement has been terminated column does not allow nulls <coughs> i mean to say that that column is not allow nulls and if you have there is that uh, there is the type of error okay so if you set that type of error and uh, there is a remove migration so just of all uh, the problem is actually doing that uh, in a user data so if you set the null property because i want to set null in the um, fluent api that is there user and department is set to null that in the foreign key so just i want to uh, set null in the foreign key table so just set the null right here in the table so if you just got update database command and first migration so second migration so and after that update database command and you got that type of error will be removed oops cannot insert the value null into the column department id table mm, does not allow null okay so where is the department id i think it's not saved so save and uh, remove migration first remove migration oops yeah remove migration is okay because it's already applied into database table so drop database just to all and just out to add add migration in it first and after that update database yeah that's fine your problem is resolved so uh, just take a null sign and write uh, write it here so your problem will be resolved easily so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to esp.com code